Hi, this is a demonstration of the Computer Engineering 208 uh, lab final at Nanyang Technological University. Um, so what we have here is a DS5000 microcontroller on a development board. And I have the, uh, the specification uh, implemented and on this board. So let's take a look. Plug it in here. So when it starts up, you'll see 000, zero, zero uh, which means that it's doing nothing. So we can control it with these dip switches here. So if we enable the first dip switch, it'll just count every second. So um, that's the first dip switch. Uh, if we move on to the second, we will get the ADC value off of channel 1. So if I come over here to our ADC board uh, and change one of these piano switches here, uh, then we'll see that it changes on the 7 seg display. So um, those are just voltage dividers. So we can choose a different voltage uh, and it'll get converted. And this is the ADC value, so this is from 0 to 255. Um, so we can enable voltage conversion with this other dip switch. And now we'll see that that's 1.37 volts, uh, which is pretty close because it says 1.4 volts on our piano switch. That's what the voltage divider is supposed to be outputting. So, um, so that's channel 1. We can also enable channel 2. So then we'll alternate, and you can see um, channel 1, channel 2, channel 1, channel 2. Uh, and those are your voltage levels. Um, then if we enable the fourth dip switch, um, same thing, but now if we look at our screen here, um, we are getting voltage outputs, so channel one, channel two, um, that's via serial. So so that's fun and interesting, but we've taken it one step farther, and let me get that program loaded on the board, and I'll show you in a sec. Well, we're back, and we can see that the development board here is plugged in and running, but doesn't appear to be doing anything. Uh, but it is connected um, with an RS-232 cable to the PC. So uh, we can come over here to the screen and see that we are running LabVIEW. And if we go ahead and run this VI and enable a channel, uh, we will be sampling the ADC at 1 hertz. So, and we can enable channel 2. And so we can see our voltage output up here of each channel and get the voltage display here on the graphs as well. Um, and so we can change the sample frequency to maybe 10 hertz. And so we'll speed up there. We can go ahead and change the voltages and see that it is sampling the channel. And we are getting a live update from our virtual instrument version of the DS5000 development board. Um, another functionality, just uh, kind of as a toy demo, is that we can enable a thermal couple channel. So we can tell the program that we're on channel one is our thermal couple. And um, so if this were a thermal couple, uh, we would be at 23, 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, and we can change some levels here and so if I set a freeze level of 25, since we're below 25, we're getting a freeze warning. So um, that's just one of the little things that you can do with uh, LabVIEW. So, um, so yeah, we're talking to the DS5000 board over RS-232 serial, and we're getting these uh, voltage outputs uh, on nice waveform graphs. So that's always fun. All right, thanks for watching.